Spanish flu killed nearly 8,000 people in Colorado. They did not initially take it as seriously as, seriously as they should have, and uh, that's very much what we've uh, been through. Colorado had a somewhat higher death rate, probably because of the high altitude and the fact that a number of people were engaged in mining and had susceptible lungs. And also there were a number of people here who had had tuberculosis because they were seeking Colorado as a supposedly healthy place. So in 1918, they shut down theaters, they shut down uh, any places where people will gather, any public events were canceled. It sounds pretty familiar to all the things that we're experiencing for ourselves today. And I think what's really interesting in Colorado especially is that in 1918, we were two years into prohibition. Um, and here we are in 2020 and you know we're, we're making runs to the liquor store because it's an essential business. So you know if you think that it is miserable to be cooped up now, um, just remember that you couldn't go and buy any beer, uh, much less delicious Colorado craft beer. Uh, the health authorities didn't uh, understand the virus to the degree that we do now. Had an idea that it was very contagious and they told people to uh, avoid meetings uh, very much similar to what we're doing now. One of the big differences was that they did not uh, see that it was important to avoid large outdoor meetings and so they encouraged people to meet outdoors and of course that was uh, just counterproductive because uh, if you sneeze outdoors on somebody it's just as bad as you sneeze indoors on them. In 1918 people got stir crazy just like they're getting stir crazy now and they were eager to get back out into the world particularly because World War One came to an end in uh, November 1918 and people wanted to celebrate. So around the state, uh, various authorities agreed to hold Armistice Day celebrations to celebrate the end of the war. And so these parades, you know, people were packed in close, they're breathing on each other, and they caused sort of a second spike in cases around the state. And so that's really the, the thing to take away is, you know, as much as we're all really eager to go back to our favorite local brewery or our favorite local restaurant, can't do it until, you know, really the, um, the virus has gotten to a safe level or our immunity has um, increased enough as a, as a society to prevent this second spike. It's, it's easy when you have something like that and then you get over it to say, well, that'll never happen again. And, and of course, uh, it does happen again. And we really have to be careful with public health. And uh, we have to remember that eternal vigilance is the uh, price of health. <laughs>